Hi there and welcome back to Maggie's Mindful Moments. And today I just wanted to chat a little bit about what does it look like to awaken. As a spiritual teacher and mentor as well as um, spiritual coach, life coach, business coach, some of my students often ask me, you know, what does it look like to awaken or what is enlightenment or how do I become enlightened? And for starters, it's not a place to get to. It's nowhere different from where you currently are. What awakening really is, is relaxing into the presence that's already and always existing. That's where the awareness is, is you being able to notice that in all of the thinking that we do, we are not our thoughts. In all of the perceptions that we have, we are not those. We are the observer of all of that. Like I am not my thoughts, I am simply the thinker of my thoughts. So that we can distinguish ourselves, our true self with a capital S, as that person, that entity, in the stillness and in the silence, which is actually your being. It's already there, it's always there, but sometimes we just don't see it or we don't know that it's there. And we, a lot of times, don't understand that we have access to that in each moment of our lives. And of course, the dedication and the practice of your meditation or other spiritual habits certainly will help you to deepen that. But it's not a place to get to, it's really a place to relax into and <clears throat> be consistent. You know, it's almost like waking up from a dream <clears throat> and realizing that you're really not separate from that dream. You're really not separate being. It's not an escape from life. You know, this idea of awakening or um, enlightenment or in Buddhist philosophy, it's, they call it liberation. That's not, it's, it's, it's not an escape from life or the current person that you are. It's not a rejection of the life that you currently have or the world. It's more of an embrace of who you actually are. A lot of us sort of don't really understand that those momentary glimpses that we sometimes get where we actually see, I am no different than you and you're no different than me. I'm really no different. I'm not separate from. It's those momentary glimpses of awakening that are already the beginning of you exploring your true nature. It's that. And, and for those students and for anyone out there who is asking, how do I awaken? What does it mean to awaken? What does that look like? How will I know? Just being in that inquiry right there means you're already on the path. Because people who are not on the path don't ask that question, right? So you're already on the path when you're in the inquiry. Remember to, as you move along in your spiritual journey, that the inquiry is sometimes more important than any other part of it. Just dwelling in the question, dwelling in the space of the question. That's really all I have today. I just thought maybe today and this week you could practice noticing your thoughts and then notice who's watching those thoughts. Notice what you hear and what's actually hearing the thoughts. Because awareness can't hear, can't see, can't touch, can't taste, can't smell. That's just your perception. Awareness just is. It's the essence underlying. It's, it's your being. If you wanted to explore this more, I'm happy to chat. By all means, shoot me a text or an email or find me at maggiekelly.com. I'm happy to chat with you more, give you as much insight as I possibly can, answer any questions that I can, and I'm always here to help guide you on your path. And that's it for today. 
Namaste.